morning everybody digger down here out solo again um just got permission at this house in a small town this is the uh first signal i dug and i have got at least a barber dime let's see if i get this in the focus for you guys uh and not one that like to scratch these things but uh, let me clean it up a little bit and I'll get back to you and see what we got. Alright, I'm back, folks. Okay, I'm having a good, uh, another good day, apparently. First seeded dime I've ever dug. First seeded anything I've ever dug. If I can get this in the focus, we'll be in good shape. Beautiful. Alright, I've literally done 10 foot of this lawn. So let's go get some more. I'm a happy camper. Okay, still hunting here. Now I'm on the other side of the sidewalk. You can see I dug a hole there, and guess what, folks? Don's having a nice day today. It's, uh, the 1943 Washington. All right, clean it up and show it to you in a minute. Let's get some more. Hey Adam, we're out door knocking today in 1890s house, and I was getting a 1239, 1238, I was digging it for like an iffy in Indian signal, and I was extremely surprised to see a silver rim bottom of my hole. I haven't looked at it yet, I had taken it out, but I haven't looked at it. Hopefully this is something old. I'm gonna get this clean up a little bit. And we're back to 1917 Merc. I'm sorry you guys can hear the wind, it's pretty windy today. Alright, let's find some more. Yeah, Lou. we're back. And I was getting a 1234, 1235-ish signal. Down about 4 inches. And I found a 1 fourth. Oops, sorry about that. One fourth cent sales tax token from Mercer County. And I'm not sure what that is. I'll have to Google that. And here's the back or the front. Yep. Alright, let's find some silver now. One idea. Yeah. Hey, hello. I'm going to apologize right now for the wind. We're detecting a house from the 1890s. I was getting a nice 1235 12 to 1238 signal down about six, seven inches. I don't know if you guys can see that down there, but I do see a coin that isn't all corroded. And it's about six inches deep. So I'm guessing it's an Indian. Um, it could be a wheat, but I'm, I'm pretty sure. That kind of signal. Um, I'll clean it up and I'll be real quick with you guys. And we're back, and I know you guys can hear that wind now. Um, don't know if you guys can see that, but it appears to me to be a 1881 and an 1881. Alright, well, I'm gonna put a picture of it, um, in like five seconds. So, yeah, let's find some more. Hey, hello, we're still here at the same house, and I was getting a 1240, 1244 signal. I don't know if you guys can see it on there, but I did get a uh, skeleton key. This is my first one, I think. I don't think I've ever gotten a skeleton key, but it appears to be corroding fairly bad. Um, I rubbed it a little bit, and it just started falling apart, as you can see right there and up there. So... I'll get this cleaned up and uh, show you a picture in a few seconds. Cue the picture. Hey, hello. We're still here at the same house. And I was getting a 1240, about 6 -ish inches. And I'm getting all the weird ones today. I was digging and I see, 
don't know if you guys can see that. There is a silver dime down there. And there's also a nickel. Let's see what these are. I haven't had a coin spill in a while. I'm gonna check out the nickel. Oh, yeah, the it's a real Z. Oh, it's a 41 Jefferson. It's pretty clean. What's that? Alright, I'm gonna clean this up and I'll be right back with you guys. And we're back. It's a 1961 Silver Rosie. Alright, let's find some more. Hello, we're still here at the same house. I was getting a 1240-ish signal, and I just put up the junk ring, it's a copper thing. It's a little design. Yeah, little design on it. All right, let's go find some, some more. Hello, everybody. I've been kind of quiet today. Out with my son, Digger Allen. Finally got a silver. Here it is right here. Uh, is it? Okay, it's a rosy. Uh, well, it's a rosy, so I guess we can take some of the dirt off. All right, well, very cool. I'll clean it up and show it to you in a minute. Finally on the board. All right. Uh, I've already looked at this, and actually, I've already cleaned it up a little bit. I just thought I'd show it to you. It's a 1964 rabies tag for here in Kane County. I figured, hey, it's a, it's a few years old. Uh, no dog name on the other side, so just a tag. All right, on to the next. 